A really fun project in City Skylines is to do a one-to-one -one build. How do you prepare for it properly? Well, step one is to go get a height map of the place. I go to skydark.heightmap.ipl. This is a zoomed out area of Rockport, Texas, which is what I wanted to recreate. I captured this view and then cropped it down to 4500 by 4500. The reason being is we've got 9 by 9 and I wanted to use this as a base of an image where I would have 500 by 500 tiles for everywhere that there's roads. That's right, I zoomed into every single part of this map that had roads and then copied it and trimmed it down to 500 by 500 and lined it up in a larger image using my favorite image er editor, PaintShop Pro 901. This is the final assembly. Yes, this image file is 4500 by 4500 pixels, and I saved it to the Files directory in City Skylines. This is necessary for the Image Overlay mod. The Image Overlay mod allows me to select a file from my Steam directory with City Skylines slash files and use it on the map. By default, hitting Shift Return will show the image. So here it is on my map. I've already sized it to fill the entire map, and if we zoom in, we can see every single street. So how do we choose which road asset to go with the streets that we see in real life? My suggestion for made roads is the four lane road. Just take it as it is, we could fancy it up later, and if we need to make it six lanes, it's already wide enough for the job. My Texas Highway 35 is that main road. Using the overlay as a guide, I can place this road exactly and set the stage for all the other roads to connect to it. The next road I want to select is the standard two lane road. This represents a major residential road. It's got a slightly higher speed limit than the two lane alley, but it's not as fast as the four lane road. Since I'm familiar with the area, I know which roads need to be the major two lane roads. I'll line up with Laurel Street and Pearl. Get the curve in. I'll stop just short of the other main street. The reason being is that I want to make sure I get the connection right, and if I extend this a little bit over here, I may have it be where this street will not line up properly. So let's put this Enterprise Street in first. Come out to here, line that up there. I'd like it to be 90 degrees with the main highway, so maybe I need to delete that other line and line this up better. There we are. I like that better. It's a little crooked here, but hey, small town roads. Now I can close the gap with Pearl Street and it looks just fine to me. Live Oak Street is another one that needs to be a two-lane road. Now that I have the primary and secondary roads in, it's time for the rest of the surface streets. For that, I don't think anything beats the two-lane alley. It's got a sidewalk, it allows parking, and it looks like a tight residential street. Using the 500 by 500 image as a guide, I'm able to place in all of the smallest streets here in Rockport. I hit shift enter and I've got a clear view of the streets. Taking a look at the area, we can notice several things right away. One, room for schools, parks, and services is already here on the map. Two, areas with poor drainage aren't built into and those are now available to be used as retention basins. Most of the retention basins in this area are going to be dry but we will have some wet ones over here where we've got some water collecting. Incidentally for this low-lying coastal area I've got lots of water sources. Each of these smaller ones is 0.01 in strength and limited in height to only fill the area that it's in, in some cases just a few pixels. I've got larger sources in the tidal basins to make sure they don't drain out and so that the keys here fill in very nicely. I did have to touch up some of the keys and some of the passages between the large area and the smaller area here, but overall the water filled in very nicely. With these roads in place I'm ready to go to Google Earth and start placing in buildings where they should be. I'll need to search the workshop for the right assets and then I can literally go to town.